our first guest is definitely the most confident um, of the dogs that we're going to showcase today. Some of the others can be a little bit shy. Um, but she is definitely not. She is a, a pit bull mix, and she has these great markings that really help her to stand out, as well as these great ears um, that make her even seem bigger when her ears are fully extended. Um, she has a very playful um, personality. Um, she is about three to four years old, so um, even though we have some puppies on the floor, she definitely has a little bit more of that high energy. Um, she really wants to play. Um, she knows sit, but she does need to work on things like jumping and pulling. Um, but she, you know, gives up toys nicely with when you ask her. Um, and obviously, she enjoys affection. Um, she's really digging um, that and leaning into that that uh, petting that Sean's giving her right now. She has a lot of really great qualities. Um, but she does just need to work on that, you know, um, not jumping up on people, which is a common um, issue with a lot of dogs, um, but fairly easy to fix. Um, she reacts favorably to other dogs as well, um, which is always a good thing. People, uh, a lot of people like to have multiple dogs in their households, and that shouldn't be an issue for her, um, given how we've seen her react so far. But we do always require that anybody who's looking to adopt a dog when they have an existing dog or dogs, um, bring all of those animals to the shelter to meet um, the adoptable dog. We do those outside in as neutral a location as possible. Um, it's going to get a gauge of how the animals will do in the household together. Um, sometimes it's um, still a little bit of work once you get them home. Um, other times it's a perfect match and other times it lets us know, hey, this isn't going to be a good thing. Um, it's not always the adoptable dog. Sometimes it's the existing dog who is just like, maybe that's too much energy for me or I get a bad vibe. Um, so it's a really important thing that we want to make sure everybody's doing. So looking over her medical, people will note that she has a grade one out of four uh, dental or dental disease. What does that mean? So it's not uncommon for animals as they age, both cats and dogs, um, to get some tartar buildup and things like that on their teeth or cavities and things, if you will. Um, so one out of four is not super high, but as she continues to age, those dental grades will increase. And as you get into the three out of four and four out of four, they're going to need dental surgeries. Um, she is, um, again, not something that you need to worry about you know, soon, but down the line, um, as you, uh, you know, any adopter for Tiger, way more to consider kind of setting aside some, some money, some funds um, in case that happens in the future. Um, again, it's so common that we have, you know, multiple cats and dogs that need dentals on the, on the floor any given time throughout the year. Um, you want to talk to your vet about the cost of that because it can vary from you know animal to animal depending on their size, vet office to vet office, and then it also if they need ex extractions or things pulled, um, the, the cost will be a little different there. Um, but it's not an uncommon thing, not something again that you need to worry about in the immediate future, but down the line it may be a, a something that you want to think about. If you're interested in making Tiger a part of your family, um, the first step to doing so is definitely going to be booking that appointment and coming in and to visit with her. And you can do that by going to visit fcac.as.me.